Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Pigskin Addicts here, back again with another video. So, I have to give a huge, huge shout out to my man, Trey Pipkins. Man, Trey Pipkins is playing extremely, extremely well. Trey Pipkins has really stepped up for the Chargers. He has stepped up in a huge way and he solidified the right tackle position, right? He has solidified his position at the right tackle. Uh, coming into the season, there was a lot of talk about who might win the right tackle position, right? It was between him and Storm Norton. Storm Norton, um, he tried his best to hold down the right tackle position last year. Obviously, you know, he did not do a good enough job to solidify it. So there was a battle in camp. Trey Pipkins won the battle fair and square. Um, you know, we just had to wait and see how he was going to perform in the regular season right and now week five right week five through five weeks going into week six trey pipkins has been a revelation at the right tackle he has been extremely good all five games of the season his right side of the line has been clean right it has been clean and pass protection and he has really went up against some talented guys uh you know he's went up against you know the jacksonville guys you know he went up against max crosby uh, uh chandler jones in week one and then you know just in 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 week five here against the browns you know the davian clowney um miles garrett he went up against some some really talented guys and he has held his own he has been extremely extremely impactful for the chargers on the offensive line um and he has rededicated himself to the craft right he rededicated himself to the craft he got drafted what was it uh four four years ago i think five years ago four or five years ago um he was a third round pick uh you know he came in and uh you know he was very raw you know he came from a very very small school uh he was raw and you know he really honestly wasn't ready to play right and he struggled he struggled he struggled all the way up until you know pretty much last season right where he was you know playing some spot duty and uh you know he's pretty much the swing tackle um after brian balaga got hurt uh early last season but uh since then right since the preseason um of 2021 he has really improved his play right and i i seen some improvements last season um you know when he was called upon in uh, uh relief duty uh but coming into this season you know he has been a very very stable piece on the chargers offensive line and you know i mentioned this in in the uh, post game live stream that i did the other day trey pipkins deserves a lot of credit um he got a bunch of hate from a lot of charger fans right a lot of us charger fans hated on him for, for a lot you know a long period of time and you know he's on social media right he has social media pages um you know i don't know how active he is as far as posting and tweeting and things like that but he has social media pages and you know people were going at him right i seen a lot of that even before i started this channel i seen a lot of people going at him you know really really talking really crazy to him um you know wishing i had some death threats too like he was taking all that in but the thing about him i never seen him respond to any fans i never seen him go at it with any fans i never seen him you know really get you know indignant online with any fans i never seen him do any of that right so he's seeing all of this stuff he's seeing it all on on, on social media right and i don't know you know maybe he's, he's he muted it or deleted the apps off his phone whatever but at some point he's seeing what you guys were saying right some of the the charger fans he's saying that he didn't go back and forth with you he didn't run and say oh you know my mental health is affected i got to take some time off he didn't do any of that stuff what did he do this past offseason he rededicated himself to the craft right he got his body right you know all of the the little you know injuries and all that stuff he he healed his body up and what else did he do he went to go train with rayshon slater and his trainer right he got better he wanted to improve from an individual standpoint right now obviously playing on the offensive line you have to gel you know all five positions have to gel together but you have to have your individual skill set right you have to have that skill set in order for you to gel with all the other guys right so trey pipkins went and he improved himself as an individual offensive lineman right and that's very very hard to do in the offseason it's extremely hard to do for offensive linemen because there's only so much you know lifting you can do there's only so much you know uh, uh set work you can do right you have to really really go hard right you have to get guys who are pass rushers and stuff you have to work on technique you have to work on kind of live 
uh, action, right? That's the type of stuff you have to work on as an offensive lineman. It's extremely hard to do, and I've I've seen some of the the way that that some linemen train, and it is it's hard, man. It's extremely extremely hard. Trey Pipkins he dove into that head first this offseason, right? So he got better. He came into this season a much better player, a much more mature player, and now you know we're reaping the benefits of it, right? He is keeping the right side of the line clean, and he is very, very good, you know, in the run game as well, too. He really showed himself against the Browns, right? The Chargers were able to run left. They were able to run right. They were getting yards. They were gashing the Browns all game long, and a lot of that had to do with Trey Pipkins, right? He kept his side of the line in order, and again, I can't give this guy, I, I, I can't give him enough credit. He really, really, really deserves all this credit right he came out and he handled his stuff like a man and that's all you really can ask right a lot of people forget that the nfl is still a developmental league right everybody who gets drafted everybody who comes into the league is not ready to play right away these guys it takes a while you know it could take some players a while to really adjust to different things right you're in a new city right it takes a a a, a maybe maybe it takes a while for you to get a new place uh you know you have to learn where everything is right you gotta uh you know be at the facility at a certain time right you're used to maybe if you're used to east coast time now you're on the west coast vice versa there's a lot of things that go into it right that are not even necessarily geared on the field right there's just things life in general right if you have a family it's moving a family out west when you're from the east coast down south when you're from you know the northwest whatever there's a lot of different things that come into you know just a player really showing up right in a in, in a new city getting acclimated there with their new team learning the playbook doing all like just there's a lot that goes into it so it takes some guys a while for them to really get their footing in the nfl right and a lot of these guys come in really young they're not as mature as they're going to be so you know you couple that with everything else that life has to offer that you have to deal with every day right it could take some guys a while to really shine so i'm glad that trey pipkins has his footing in the nfl now he is a very crucial part of this this team now you know he is a guy he really he is proving his worth and you know if he continue if he continues to play like this he is going to be the right tackle of the future right this was a uh, position that you know I made a lot of videos about, you know, especially during draft time, you know, what are they going to do about the right tackle position? Should they draft somebody? Um, should they sign some some free agent? Whatever, whatever it is, right? Trey Pipkins is solidifying that, right? Those questions are starting to go away now. Every performance that he comes out and, and you know, he has a great game like this, these questions are going away. What do the Chargers do at right tackle? What do the Chargers do at right tackle? These questions are going away. They're going away because he has solidified himself. He is really, really understanding the offense. Um, he understands what his role is, and he is gelling with the other five guys up front. And uh, man, he's, he's doing a really good job. So definitely shout out to him. I had to make this video because, again, my channel is about being fair, right? I call it straight down the middle. I call it how I see it, right? I'm a Charger fan. Yes, but if a player is not playing well, I can call out and say, hey, this dude's not playing well, right? Um, if a coach is not doing what he's supposed to do, hey, we, we, we call him out here on this channel. But when people show up and they show out and they really put that work in to improve, you have to credit them. You have to. It's only fair. If I'm going to go at people and, you know, talk about how much they need to improve and whatnot, when they do improve, I got to come on here and I got to give them credit. I am fair. This channel is fair. I'm not Mr. Hot Take. I'm not that. I don't want to be known as that. I don't want to be known as those, you know, inauthentic personalities that you see on sports media, TV. I'm not with that at all. I will call something out, but if, you know, I see some good stuff, I got to I got to go at them and I got to, you know, praise them just like I'm doing now for this video. So, I try to be as fair as I possibly can on this channel. So, yes, this is a shout out to Trey Pipkins. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll ever see this video, but if he does, shout out to you, brother. You are doing a very, very, very good job. Um, and I'm extremely proud of your improvement. Very, very proud of your improvement as a Charger fan. Um, and just as a man, too. You know, this, this is grown man shit right here. You're growing up, right? You're growing up. You're become, you know, from, from, from a boy to a man, you're growing up. You handled your business and, uh, you know, you deserve whatever you know contract you get however much money you get you deserve that because you really have improved and um you know definitely a big shout out to you but that's all i got for this video guys